I'm not resting, I'm doing stressful errands. Um, what do we want to do? This first 30 minutes or so was making dinner. Nice, what are you having, Diana? And no worries. I might have missed you saying how you are, Ethan, sorry. Um, I just said I'm a little bit exhausted from the week, but besides that I'm fine. Enjoying the stream and enjoying having a rather slow Saturday. Tomorrow I've got more plans. Okay, who are we going to hang out with? Uh, we could go for... What was her name again? Ifume was the showy player. <laughs> I really like how this network feature always wants us to hang out with Justine and Caroline. Damn, but hopefully Persona will pick you up. Yeah, already on it. How are you? We're playing Beauty Free and ended up buying Rogue Trader or Season Pass to play it at some point, lol. Oh nice! <laughs> I hope you're going to enjoy it. I don't know, I was also thinking about buying the um, the Season Pass. But I think it will take quite some time before I'm going to play it again. See how it's going to go this time. What we're going to disprove this time. Yeah, I guess we could also go for Oya, but well, I'm going to shrivel up. It's so hot today. I place my shop on the street so I can see people walking by, but I'm about to melt. Well then, what would you like to do today? I kind of feel it. It's still like so hot here. Eh, uh, I'm melting. Let's do a verification test. You're here for the verification test, correct? Well, I'm closing up shop for today. Now, uh, could we discuss another matter? <laughs> I really like how she was complaining about working in the heat, and now she's like, ah, oh, I'm gonna close the store. Mm, eggs and roasted mix of potatoes, onion and meat. I just checked called... Itipana in English? I never heard about that. I'm glad to hear you're doing well, Mathkirito. Why did I say your whole name now? Huh. All right, here we go. Thank you very much. Um, I'm closing up shop, so please hold on. <sighs> oh, he also doesn't seem to be in the best of spirits. Caruso san honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I've seen and the fortunes I've seen have an extremely high accuracy rate. But I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? <laughs> I really want to say you're only realizing that now, but I'm not sure if she's going to approve, so... Do you want to, do you want to test it again? Uh... Oh, I guess. Well, of course, but I'm sure that would only end up in disappointment. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. I don't know, doesn't it also sound like quite the boring life? If you can access like fate just by laying cards and you always know what's going to happen? I mean, also kind of sounds like very resigned to fate, right? <laughs> but I always concluded that it was something beyond our control. Almost like the laws of nature. Eternal, impossible to defy. And yet, there exist people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their own will upon the world. And so, if no one ever opposed like fate before, is it just due to our... Phantom Thief skills? It doesn't really make sense, right? Oh. Mm. Also been watching Jen and Eliona on YouTube playing BD3 with voice actress of the Moon Lesbians. <laughs> ah, that sounds really cool. Um. How can I become one of those people, Karusu-san? Oh. Wanna take fate into your own hands? Strengthen your will. 
My, well, do you mean to say I'm too easily influenced by my own fortune telling? I mean, kinda. You're really resigning to it and seeing it as absolute, right? The city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. There was nobody like you back in my hometown in the country, Rusus on. It was a small, traditional town deep in the mountains, populated almost by entirely by older people. Oh boy. Tell me more. During the winter, it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. <sighs> Yeah, it's not really remote and isolated. The youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Not explicitly, of course. Oh, and there's a small shrine in the center of the village. There I... That how she started, like, fortune reading and stuff like that? By the way, I'm in the corner for BG3, not she high as Fortune Girl rocks, but I'm not Camo Creep. <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. I have that place to come to the city. It really doesn't sound like a fun place if it's all about obedience, to be honest. It doesn't sound very free. It means nothing to me right now. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in the stone. It came from someone who dared to care about me, even though. I'm just a monster of strange powers. She mentioned that before, right? Something about being a monster? Why the heck does she think she's a monster? Probably something from her hometown, right? Hmm. And that's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. However... But now I wonder if they really do much of anything. I mean, at least hers looks like more than an actual stone and less than just like rock salt, right? I wonder if hers is like actually like some kind of gemstone, unlike ours. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude and passion? Oh, nice. <laughs> I guess if you accept that you can change fate, you can change quite a lot. But if you just think it's like unchangeable, you also don't try, right? Yeah, it's really cool that next week there will be uh, the next patch for BG3. Really looking forward to that. Not so much for the evil endings, but I know you're going to enjoy them, Diana. <laughs> One day I'll play BG3. Ah, And it will probably be very awesome, Kirito. I hope you're going to enjoy it. If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to confront fate head on, with my own strength. Although, the chairman would be really mad if he found out. What kind of chairman? Is there like a fortune teller chairman? The chairman? Oh, um. Don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Uh, unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Oh gosh, she again with her curses. A anyway, if fate can be changed. Maybe even mine could be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time... What is her fate going to be? I think it will work. Right. <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange. At least, until I can manage to change my fate. Oh, oh and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune telling for you. Which we really haven't used that much so far. Maybe I need to do that more. Hey Alistair, how are you? How was your weekend so far? Uh, I was kind of hoping that we would like get a new fortune reading, cause she was like, hey, extra effort. All right. Well then. Thank you for today, Kurisu-san. Until next time. Good night. Um, I'm calling because I, I wanted to thank you once again for earlier. Thank you so much for today. 
to be honest, I'm still feeling a bit lost. Also not something I expected hearing from a fortune teller. But talking to you about everything is helping me feel a little better. Tell me more about your home. That kind of seems creepy. I'm glad to hear that. I'm learning so much from you, Karusa-san. I can't thank you enough. Thanks to you, I can finally see the truth. I can only hope my fortune telling is enough to pay you back somehow. Karusa-san, I'll be putting in a lot of work from now on. Even though I can't even imagine changing my own fate. But I will figure out some way to make it happen. I hope I can count on you to help me through the process. Until next time. Joker's really at it, changing so many people's fates and things. I never expected what happened to Futaba's mother would be connected to those incidents in the city. Yeah. Annoying to be honest, I got up early to try and get Oasis tickets and I couldn't get any. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, that sucks. Are they like all gone or are they selling them in waves? That sometimes happens here. I really hope you can still get any, but it doesn't sound good. We can't leave this be. I'm really wondering who will actually be the next target. And especially how it's connected to all this research of Futawa's mother. Or if we're just going to find out like more about the metal shutdowns. Do you know, like Kirito or Alistair, do you know how many palaces there are in this game? You're right. Though this scoundrel has the same power as us, they're triggering people's mental shutdowns. If they truly exist, who can stop them? Only us. But I mean, how would we even stop them? Are we just going to try to, to catch them, like in Mementos or something, or in a palace? We did Futaba, right? Yeah, that was the last palace we did. Mm, I think they're all gone. I'm not paying 700 to 800 pounds resale. Yeah, yikes. I definitely couldn't afford that. This is getting interesting. Is he fired up? We've got a new addition to the team, so it's time I flex my veteran skills. It also is quite the change of mentality, right? Because like two days ago Morgana was like all talking. Morgana seems awfully excited. Ah, is the confident level up? Nope. Yeah, last day of holidays. Hey, we need to talk. Come downstairs. Come downstairs. What's up? Hey, get ready. We're going out for lunch. Just the three of us. Aww. Sojiro really is our dad. Now it's undeniable. I could afford it, but it's the principle of the matter. The official tickets were 150, but then rose to 350. Yeah, I also wouldn't buy from scalpers, besides the whole I can't afford it thing. <laughs> Six or seven, depending, I think, left. What? Six or seven whole more palaces left? This game is incredibly long. That's so much. I didn't expect that. If you're paying. I mean, I'm kind of expecting Sergio to pay, right? You want me to come? You don't have any plans, right? Just come on. It'll be my treat. Yay! Free food! Not only can Futaba go out now, but your summer break's almost over. We gotta do something. But I guess probably Sergio's just relieved that Futaba's just going out and kind of healed, right? I asked especially for sushi. You better be thankful. Ooh, nice. This place is supposed to be super delicious too. Sushi? Take me with you. I didn't get to eat the takeout sushi last time, remember? I think that might be hard to argue. <laughs> Man, that thing never stops meowing, does it? And we have to ask if he can come with us. <laughs> oh well. He wants to come with. 
There's no way they'd let us in with a cat in tow. Yeah. Right. Sorry, but it's gonna have to be a no. I do feel sorry for it, though. Well, I guess I don't mind bringing some sushi home. Such fancy cat food. He knows me so well. Let's see. I want some medium fat tuna, fatty tuna, salmon roe, anago, and and. And I guess for Sushiro it's just like meow 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 meow. Oh, are you gonna be able to remember all this? You might want to take notes. So, how is it? Good? Looking at Futaba, it seems to be incredible. Mmm, delicious! <laughs> She's still wearing the headphones. <laughs> uh. Don't wolf it down like that. It, no one's gonna take your food. <laughs> what did I tell you? Drink some tea. It. Ah, restroom, I think it was, right? Huh? Oh, oh restrooms. Uh, they're that way. Uh, Futaba's still pretty wild. <laughs> what a busy girl. <sighs> Back in the day, she, her mother, and I used to go eat out often. <sighs> this brings back memories. I had completely forgotten about it, too. Oh, Yeah, it's so nice, especially after the very stern beginning of Sojiro to now be here together and really gives gives off family vibes, right? I was close. I thought I was gonna die! <laughs> Maybe eat a little bit slower. Well, time to resume. Oh boy. You're still going to eat? Full. I'm throwing in the towel. Which is it? Oh boy. Uh, actually, my mouth is off. I counted the dungeons. You got three to four palaces left. <laughs> so, like, half of it. Ah, oh, that's nice. Do you like the palaces which are going to come? Yeah, we have those issues here too. Like 15 minutes after tickets were unlocked for one of the festivals was open for purchase, all had been sold, and Scalvis started selling for five times the price. That really sucks, should be illegal. I don't know if it's a common issue here, I don't go to a concert that often. But I know that it's an issue to get like tickets in general. I'm gonna use the restroom and then pay the bill. And I remember when the PlayStation 5 release, which was like really rare, because they didn't have like many uh, in stock in general. And also people bought like so many of them and sold them for like thrice the price. I was like, what the heck? Check please. Coming right up. When I got into middle school, my mom and Sojiro took me out to eat sushi to celebrate. That sushi was so good. Today's was pretty good too. I hope the three of us can come again sometime. I guess now we're the honorary brother. Me too. When should we do this again? Aww. I wish she could have had today's sushi too. <sighs> I want to find out what happened to mom. I won't forgive the guy who triggered her mental shutdown. I wonder if this SIU person is connected to that. Also, I mean, the last things we saw, it kind of really seemed to be connected to this whole mental shutdown affair, right? It really seems like we are slowly entering like the main plot. Because I mean, the first things were kind of like like arcs of a story, right? Hmm. This was an issue for anything with limited amounts, such as limited editions of games and books, and so. Yeah, it really sucks. Yeah, I'll be honest. I bought like two. Here's fives. Keep one and solve one for a small profit. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I think especially with like consoles... I don't know. I think in general you shouldn't do that. And um, 
What I wonder is for the PlayStation 5, for example, in Germany they established that everyone can just like pre-order one. And I mean, of course you can just like create like another account, but it still gives like people more time to, um, to get a chance to grab one, right? So I'm like, why is that not common? I mean, for concert tickets, I guess kind of hard, because if you want to go with a friend, you don't want to buy one, then to maybe see that like your friend didn't get one. But uh, just working for limits. Also for like limited editions of like games or consoles, you really need like as one person like two. Unless you're a scalper, Alistair. Anyway. So you better help me out. 120,000 yen? You're joking, <laughs> right? Wow. For three people, 120,000 yen. That's like. 40,000 yen per person, so it's like... Uh, divided by... It's like 300 euros, right? Oof. Like 300 euros per person. If I'm not mistaken. Let, let me look it up. I think I'm really bad with calculating that in euro. Yen, euro. So 30,000 yen are, with the current exchange rate, are like 250 euros. So, I mean, yeah, about 80 euros per person. Oof. Looks like we won't be getting sushi to go. I think retro console game is fair game, but selling seals for crazy money is a no-no for me. I mean, if you go for retro consoles or games, everyone could buy them, right? It's not like a limited... I mean, it is a limited thing, but it's not like first come, first serve, meaning... Like, it's not pre-ordering. I think that makes a difference. Very eloquent, Ethan. It wasn't a massive profit. I think I made 50 pounds profit. Please don't kill me. Ah. Uh. Do you fear the judging from the chat? <laughs> and me? We're not going to kill you. You need to live with that shame. Welcome home! I've been waiting for you! Oh no, did we really get like sushi for Morgana? Huh? Wait, where's my sushi? Oh no. Where's my fatty tuna? Where's my anago? What is anago? Does anyone know? I gotta say, I do like sushi, but as someone who's a vegetarian, you don't know most of the sushi. It's like, well, cucumber or avocado or... Inari sushi is nice. Or daikon. But most sushis for me are like, what even is that? Anago is eel. Oh, I thought unagi is eel. You sure? Or is it just like a different one? Or is it just called anago when it's used in sushi? I'm so confused. Is it good? This sushi was so delicious. We made it the catch there. Oh, if only sushi I had more money. So that's why. Oh, poor Morgana. That's actually one place I want to go more than sushi. Any idea what it is? Uh, arcade. I mean, she's the ultimate gamer, right? A ramen shop. Oh, washing down a sushi with some ramen! That sounds stylish, but we can do it another time. Anago is name of eel in Japanese. So... It's not unagi? Oh. Huh. Great, one of the... 10 words I know in Japanese is wrong. <laughs> I want to go to Akihabara. I want to buy a game, but I'm scared to do it alone. Do you think you could help? Of course. You're a nice guy. Okay, it's late, so let's just meet there. I know how to ride the train after the tri after the trip to the beach, so I can get there fine. Well then, I'll be waiting. Why are we not taking the train together? I mean, we're both living kinda near the same station. Wait, we're meeting in Akihabara? Is Futaba really going to be okay? But like, I don't think it needs explanation, but Akihabara is like the anime and gaming district in Tokyo. It's huge, there's so many shops, you can get like all kinds of figures, of games, of merch. 
It's really nice, but also really, really overwhelming. Everything is colorful. When you go into like one shop, you can hear like five different loud J-pop songs from different directions at once. And yeah. We'd better get over there. It's cool, but after that, at least if you're like me, you're really overwhelmed. Nice. Another point unlocked. Akihabara. Also known as Akiva, this district is a mecca of tech and otaku goods. Electric Town. The world's largest electronics store can be found here. Alright. Alright, let's go. Do, 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 do. Is this where Unagi's I'm supposed to be also, meeting? Unagi is also eel. Anago is saltwater eel. Un Unago is freshwater eel. Ah, curious that they have different words for that. The problem with sushi here is that it's expensive and you can buy menus cheaper, but there's all of my stuff I'm not fond of. Yeah. I think, I mean, sushi here is not cheap and like a little pricey, but not like all the way pricey. But um, I rarely order food, of course. Well, ordering food is always expensive. But when I do, I like to go for sushi, but this is just like once a year that I order food. Is she not here? Try checking around. Ah, let's hope she's okay. Are I like you how all by yourself? Aww. Where did you come from? It doesn't look okay. Oh, I... oh, gosh, and even a police officer questioning her. Hey, over there. Did you run away from home? What's wrong, little girl? Uh, that looks bad. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Let's watch. Let's ignore her. How cruel you gotta be. Let's help. Yeah, hurry up. Uh, well, can you come down to the station with me for now? What the heck? I mean, she's not that young, right? Huh? Who are you? Hey! Akira! Do you know this girl? I mean, after the sushi dinner, she kind of is family, isn't she? But I think that might also help to just be allowed to take her home. She's family. You're not lying, are you? Very well. Yes, persuasion succeeded. Utaba, are you okay? S sorry, I thought I conquered my fears back at the beach. What happened? Like Ethan said, sushi here is a bit pricey, but not as pricey. Mm. What's your favorite sushi type, everyone? Like, what's your favorite you go for? I think for me... Mm. I really like daikon sushi. Daikon or avocado. Inari. If I have to pick one, it would be Inari, and I think like second place is Daikon and third place is Avocado. I order food like once a week or so. Ah, that's cool. I also used to order more food when I was still like working more, but yeah, due to health reasons, as you know, I can't work that much, so I am pretty broke all the time, and one of the first things I just cut was like ordering food. Doesn't matter too much though. Like when I GM D&D every second Monday out of food to be delivered, and then sometimes on Sunday. Oh, that's nice. Classic salmon and tuna. Mm. Back when I still used to eat fish, which was... I ate like fish till 11, and meat till I was 10. And at least back when I still ate it, I really enjoyed both of us. There wasn't anyone I knew with me, so I panicked. Felt like my heart was gonna pop. Since I quit like eating that quite early, I never like had like sushi or like raw fish. I just know like cooked salmon or cooked tuna. I got so scared all by myself. Then I just sort of curled up into a ball. Then all these people started staring at me, and the police came, and then it was all over. Okay, I guess given that it also makes sense that the officer was a little more concerned for her. 
Look, Futaba. If you're ever in trouble, just call this guy. Okay. Hmm. I feel kind of calm when we're this close. You're okay being like this, right? I can't move. You don't have to. Couldn't even go by a game by myself. I'm a failure. Ah. Who even buys games in stores anyway? Always online. Futaba. And I mean, she quite made herself, right? In the beginning, she couldn't even go outside her own room. But I'm okay outside as long as it's with him. Is he some kind of key item? Please, be my key item. I'll try and get better at navigation if you do. Oh. Since we can say, is this a deal? I think we're just getting another confidence. Is this a deal? Should accompany Futaba when she goes out from now on. I gotta say, it sounds really cute. Like, oh, you're my key item. That sounds really cute. How to flirt with me? <laughs> we were impressed with the intel gathering skills of the Phantom Thieves as well. But I don't know. It feels hard for me to see Futaba as like a romantic interest. Oh, she seems so young, right? I don't know. We also know that this would have been impossible unless you had a skilled hacker. Mm, it's Futaba. Who was doing this? And I bet like... I, I shouldn't bet money. <laughs> I bet 20 imaginary bucks that Futaba is the hermit. She's the same age as your character. For real? She seems so much younger. With the birth of the hermit persona, ha, I, I have it. obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Or a support. Chance to cast Kaja or party healing magic during battle. Alright. Mm, fancy. Okay, I'm just going to look it up. Right. How old is Futaba? Over with, let's go. Uh, okay, she's supposed to be 15 to 16. I think she's just naive and sheltered, that's why she seems younger. I mean, fair. She's just also so small. I mean, she's like more than one head smaller than we are. I don't know. I would have expected her to be way younger, like 13 or something. Favorite shrimp tempura. I love shellfish. I gotta say, I actually never ate shellfish or shrimp or whatever. I mean, she got no sunlight and probably didn't eat properly. True. Need buy game. But also her face. I don't know. She just looks so. <laughs> hey, smaller people exist. <laughs> I know. Japanese girls tend to be shorter. True, but I mean she's also quite a bit shorter than like Makoto or Ahn, right? And also face-wise, I don't know. I would have guessed she's like younger. Weren't you bawling your eyes out just a second ago? Yeah, but I have my key item now. <laughs> Victory conditions met. Do, 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 do. Come on, let's roll. I want to play Final Fantasy. Welcome home. Where were you two? Akihabara. <laughs> Saying that all casual. <laughs> what? That's incredible, Futaba. I... I guess. I just hope you can keep that up. Maybe you'll even be able to go to high school someday. I also still wonder how that worked. Like... I mean, if she always was in her own room, 
don't you need to go to school in Japan? Was she homeschooled? Because I mean, Jojiro is all the time here and... I mean, he seems very nice right now. I don't want to say anything bad about Sojiro, but could he even homeschool someone? <laughs> yeah. Five foot three inches is the average female height in Japan, apparently. Can you convert that to centimeters? Well, that's enough of that. Oh. I bet you're exhausted after dealing with all those people, huh? Let's get you to bed. Hey, we're gonna head back. Nice! And if you do have a new confidence... 